KPIX 5's Justin Andrews is in San Rafael with how the eviction went down. This entire eviction process lasting for hours. Crews are currently right now cleaning up what's under here of this 101 viaduct. This is where dozens of people lived. They lived in tents and shacks underneath this overpass. The people who once lived here, they call it a big systematic failure. Here at the intersection of 4th and Heatherton near downtown San Rafael, just under the 101 overpass is a neighborhood. People living in tents and cars, their homes built with scavenged items. That place has been a good place of healing and peace for people. Late this morning, Caltrans officials came through, hauling items and clearing this encampment. People who once lived here say crews might come and crush their homes, but it won't crush their spirits. Throughout California, there is only shelter for roughly 30% of people experiencing homelessness. It's devastating when you when your community is ripped apart, what you built, the small, what you're able to bring together and coalesce, and then the state comes in and rips it to shreds. The city of San Rafael says over the last five years, local and state leaders have been working hard to end chronic homelessness by giving services and support. This particular encampment underneath 101 has been growing greatly since the pandemic and now the city says it's too large. And it's on state property. The reason that there's so many people under the viaduct that came in is because when people go into San Rafael and try and pitch a tent, SRPD snatches people's tents. Caltrans says police and fire calls have doubled here in this encampment, including violent crimes and theft. In San Rafael, Justin Andrews, KPIX 5. Caltrans told us it has been working with the city and county to help unhoused residents move into permanent housing or shelters.